everyone and welcome back to my video. So today I'm going to be filming um, a review video on the Maybelline 1x1 One One Volume Express Mascara. I might, if I have enough time, if this is like under 4 minutes, I'll do the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch um, Highlighting Concealer as well. I'm sorry if you can hear background noise. Sorry. Um, and this is going to have to be in the frame. I'm sorry if that's bothering you, bothering you as well because... The sun's, like, right here, and if I move this, I'll get, like, lines on my face, so, yeah. Um, first thing, what's on my lips, I also had this when I was, um, the, um, what's that thing called? Oh, the Ulta and Random Haul video, and this is what I was wearing. I think I mentioned that, um, because I was in the haul, but this is the new NYX Butter Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Razzo Fiesta. I'm obsessed. I have nothing similar to the shade at all. And I want to pick up like 10,000 more of this one. Like, amazing. Okay. Anyways. So, yeah. Let's just get into the review. I know I said I would do demos of, you know, the review products I'm using. But I didn't really think I was going to be filming the reviews today. If I was just filming whatever. So, I guess I should have thought about that. But I already have on my hair. So, it's not going to really work out too well. But I, if I do mention this in this video, I am actually wearing it. So, that's good, right? Um... Okay, so this is the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara. I actually used to have this mascara. Um, <clears throat> kind of see this eye look. Please let me know because I'm obsessed with it right now. Um, anyways, it's my first time doing this combination. But this is, um, anyways, I used to have this mascara a couple months ago. But once it dried up, I just never repurchased it. I, I just had, most likely I'm guessing I just had too much mascaras because... This is an awesome mascara. I don't know why I didn't repurchase it right away. Um, I have it in the waterproof form because I don't have any other waterproof mascaras. This is what the brush looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so it's just a rubberized bristle. It has um, pretty short bristles all the way around. It's kind of oval shaped, I guess. I don't know what kind of shape you would call this. Um, but I love rubberized bristles. I think they are the best for, um, separating the lashes. So, yeah. Um, rubberized means just like a rubber, like this thing right here. This whole thing and the wand. Well, usually the wand is always rubber. But it's just rubber. Um, so yeah, I got this in, my black is black or something. Yeah, black is black. I love this mascara. I don't know about the non-waterproof, but I have trouble with my lashes staying curled. As you can see right now, they're pretty straight out. I curled them before I put on the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara, but that one's not waterproof. So that's why I really am obsessed with this mascara. It keeps my lashes till the end of the very, very night. It keeps them curled perfectly. Like, nothing was ever done to them. It's amazing. Like, my eyes look so big, so, like, open and stuff. I, I love this for that reason. And it also, like, just by the name, one by one, it really, really does separate each and every one of your lashes. It gives you volume. It gives you length. It gives you separation. So if you want a mascara that has everything in one, lengthening, volumizing, and separating, this is the mascara to go for. I think it's, I got it at Walmart for, like, six, maybe seven dollars. I just can't get enough of this. I, I don't know why I ever stopped using this. So I really like this. And I would really, really, really recommend it. So I'm going to just do the Maybelline one. Might as well, right? So I kept the packaging. Um, I actually kept this packaging as well. I just didn't want to bring it over here. Um, but this is the... And I think... I shouldn't find the prices for you guys. I think this was... Oops. Under $6 for sure. I would have to say. Okay, under eight, for sure. But this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch um, Concealer. I don't have it, I have it in the shade Ivory, which is not, like, they have a brightening shade, and then, you know, a bunch of different colored shades. So what I did with this today, actually, I didn't use it underneath my eyes. I used my normal MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but I took this more as a highlighting effect today and put it down the bridge of my nose so that's why my nose looks so like um highlighted and kind of uplifted i put it right there on my forehead on my cupid's bill to make my lips look fair and on my chin that's why it looks a little you know 
highlighted and stuff. But I really, really do like this product. I'll do a little swatch for you guys. I'm not too obsessed with it underneath the eyes. That's why I didn't really use it underneath the eyes. Because it does badly crease under there for me. And I've, um, that's what that looks like. And I'm, um, but it's just not very nice underneath my eyes personally. A lot of concealers, especially drugstore ones, do crease under me. So, yeah, it does crease. Bummer of that. But it blends out beautifully. Like, you can see it's blending out amazingly. It dries to a um, matte finish, I would say, but it looks natural. I really, really like this product, and honestly, I would recommend it. Um, I'm actually probably going to get the highlighting shade, like, once I run out of this. I just heard a lot of people talking about it, wanted to try it myself, and I really do enjoy it. I just don't like it for underneath the eyes. So, yeah, I would honestly, if I were you, I would give it a try. I would definitely give both of these products a try. Um, if you want to see one of my other reviews that I did, my first review on my channel, I think it was, um, I did it, I uploaded like last week. It was the CoverGirl True Magic Skin Perfector, something like that, that clear substance. I'll try and link it down below. Haven't been able to link stuff, so. Anyways, I'm obsessed with these products, and when I'm obsessed with this, I'm just okay with this, but obsessed with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any names that you think I should name my review videos, please tell me in the comments below. And like this video up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.